Welcome back to Everyday. Thrilled to have Kathy J on board, one of my favorite radio hosts from KS1075. Now, I've never asked you this. Do you have a lawn? Do you have a, a front yard? Yep, and a backyard. Really? Crazy. Do you keep, take care of it? No, the husband does. Uh, that's why she got married. <laughs> yeah. So you may be wondering, is it time now to get out there and start watering or not? We got together with a real pro to figure out what you should be doing to your lawn right now. One of our best tests is the screwdriver test. You just take a screwdriver and we're going to put it into the soil. If you have enough moisture, we should be able to get a good four inches of the screwdriver in the soil. And so I'm pressing down and I've actually gone through this lawn and this is indicative of you have a very dry lawn. We need to get some moisture down here and we can't wait any longer. Still a little too early to turn the sprinkler system on. So this weekend could be a great weekend to bring the hoses out. And you would want to water and then 15 minutes move the hose, water some more. What will happen then is you'll be able to get that water will go down. You want it to go down a three or four inch level. Ground cover is perfect for under most of the trees and shrubs we have here in Colorado. And the moisture that we have gotten throughout the winter has gone and melted. It's still powder dry. After your lawn has passed the screwdriver test and you've been watering during the weekend, it's time to look up. This beautiful oak tree needs water also. Once your lawn has that water at the two to three inch depth, you're going to be able to deep root water your trees with a, a soil probe. I have two here. They're both very good. I've also marked them at the depth that you want to insert the probe into the ground. It would be hooked up to a hose. And what we would do is come out to the drip line or the farthest branches of the tree. We would be inserting this in the ground down to the level where we know the feeder root system is and we would be turning the water on. If you're going to be watering this weekend, which you definitely should, you want to bring the hose out and you want to turn the water on and you want to watch how long it takes for the water to begin to run off or puddle. Once it does that, it's time to move the sprinkler. Oh, well, there you have it. Yeah. Get your husband out there. Time to, <laughs> right. time to I get hope going. I he's watching. <laughs>